Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going through my cash envelope binders. I'm going to do a little revamp. I'm still trying to figure out what's working for me and what's not. As you can probably tell, I have been getting over an illness. So uh, cash stuffing has kind of been on the back burner. I've been trying to stick to my written budget, but I can tell I need to simplify a little bit more and find something that works for me. So we're going to jump in. This is this used to be my primary um, binder, but I can tell that I'm not really feeling it. I have really simplified my categories again. I do well with um, highly simplified budgeting. You have probably seen my um, like paycheck budgets. We have really minimal bills and that really helps me thrive. So I do want to keep my groceries category. I did decide to combine the household and the groceries together. So I'm just going to pull this groceries one out because I'm going to use that somewhere else. And then I'm also going to remove some of these, um, I guess, savings challenges that I have in here. And this is just a $100 mystery savings challenge that I made for myself, but I haven't used it yet, as you can tell. So I might, I might use that somewhere else. I don't know. Um, this was a coffee savings challenge. I do enjoy doing this one and I'd be inclined to do this in the future too, but I think for right now, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to take those off. Um, I'll take my little alcohol wipes and clean them out. So I also have an other category in here and I might, I might carry this over because sometimes, you know, you just need a couple bucks on hand. And so I might, I might keep that one. So then we have these two binders. This yellow one is really becoming my primary binder. So this is what I'm going to focus on. I... This tithe category, I want to um, make a tithe payment. I think we can pay online to our church. This money is from January, you guys. I didn't, I don't think I added anything in February. And then we are already in March. So I really want to pay that money to the church or give that money to the church. Start this over. And um, yeah, so we'll just keep going through. Holidays, I don't have anything. Birthdays, I'm gonna take this one out. I thought this would inspire me to save for birthdays. Um, and I think I just got a little too much going. <laughs> so again, this $25 I had pulled like last year, I think. And so I need to just start that over. Um, I do like these categories though. Car care, taxes. I know the taxes is coming out because we did pay that money to taxes and we already filed. So this guy can come out. I will clean all of these off and put it back in. So that guy's coming out. We have kids needs, which I need to add money to here pretty soon. And then we have our new baby savings challenge. Um, this, I do plan on adding quite a bit of money to this, um, this upcoming pay check budget, or I guess cash stuffing video. So I'm gonna keep this in here. And then we did spend all of our health money. If you've been following me, we had a $6,000 health bill and that is paid in full. So I wanna start contributing to this again. I haven't decided in what capacity I want to contribute to this, but I'm, I don't know. Sometimes $20 feels like a lot. Sometimes $20 feels like a manageable amount each week. So I might do something around $20. And then we have our meat cow. We just steadily add to this every week. Um, our family purchases a cow and then we just kind of reimburse the fund so that we have money for the next one. So I'm gonna add groceries in right here. And you know, I might even take a couple more of these out. I'm not for sure yet. For now, we'll leave them. 
but we're gonna jump over here this black binder I kind of just use as storage for the things that I aspire to do I guess so annual expenses I would love to add that in and cash flow some of these things like optical and dental um, Christmas I'm probably gonna add in in the summer I think I got started in July last year and we still ended up sh a little short for Christmas um, so I might start that sooner rather than later I know some people will start early like um, not like beginning of the year but maybe like right around now or April so Christmas is definitely gonna need to go in there soon I had these categories sitting around uh, for my necessities and my husband's necessities but I think I've determined that these are not necessary for us because when we need something we typically just add it into the grocery budget or we just take it out of our personal spending money, which our personal spending money has been kind of high for the last, oh gosh, I would say even six months. Um, I go through phases where I can be really um, frugal and then I go through phases where I'm like, Oh my gosh, I've been frugal for so long. I deserve this. I deserve that, right? <laughs> it's easy to get into that mentality. But um, that's my binder refresh for right now. I think that will work out nicely uh, in this upcoming cash stuffing video. And so stay tuned for that. I'll be cash stuffing some of my savings challenges as well as um, that grocery money. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.